Camille walked to a corner of the room and began to shed the outer layers of her uniform, revealing a sports bra and a pair of athletic shorts. She fought to calm herself, trying not to think about how little she was wearing in view of the entire class. This was the part of her power that she always hated most, the necessity for skin-to-skin contact. Her opponents took the strange behavior in stride and silently surrounded her, forming a triangle, and waited for their cue. Chad didn't know why Camille was being put against three opponents clearly out of her league. The most logical assumptions were that she was either far more powerful than she appeared to be, or the professor was using her defeat to teach someone a lesson. In either case, Chad resolved to take her out as quickly and humanely as possible. Everyone, begin. Chad bolted across the circle, jerked Camille off her feet, and slipped a simple sleeper hold around her neck. She struggled briefly, then raised her hand and pressed her fingers on his cheek. Camille rolled away as Chad collapsed from a concussion. She'd also broken a few of his bones to keep him down in case he woke up too soon. She hopped to her feet and saw Roy running toward her, his jacket wrapped around his right fist. She dodged his first punch, leaping to the side. The area she'd been in a moment before was charred by a lightning strike. It knocked Roy off balance, leaving Camille an opening. She dozed for his bare left hand. He tried to avoid her, but her fingers brushed his wrist. The bones in Roy's arms shattered. He staggered and tried to focus, but Camille grabbed his hand again. His legs fractured and he fell. Camille spun around, ready to dodge another electrical attack. Instead, she barely avoided a blast of flame that blistered her shoulder. She saw Vince crouched near the edge of the circle, another fireball manifesting in his hand. Terrified, she met his eyes and nearly choked in surprise of what she saw. Vince was smiling. No, beaming. He looked happier than she'd seen him in months. I didn't know you could do that. Camille dove out of the way of Vince's fireball. Yeah, my power is more versatile than I let on. Oh, I knew about that part. I just didn't realize it could work against someone like Roy. Wait, you knew? Sure did. That's why I stayed over here. Through intuition or luck, Camille saw the attack coming. She kept running, zigzagging through the small area of the circle before Vince could draw a bead on her. Vince switched tactics, creating a wall of flame between himself and Camille. Rather than try and run around, she ran right through, arm outstretched. Vince met her head on, ducked her touch, and slid his foot into her ankle. Camille stared up at the concrete ceiling and Vince towering over her. She was considering trying to grab his ankle when his expression suddenly changed. Camille! Vince ripped off his jacket what? and brought it down over her head with surprising force. He continued beating her with the jacket. Camille wondered if this was his way of getting her to surrender without hurting her. Then she realized she could smell something burning. 